Hello, this is Vic. Welcome to my channel and thank you for viewing my videos today. I'm in the beautiful and the very historic country of Egypt and I'm visiting the fascinating capital of Egypt, the city of Cairo. In this particular documentary, we're going to do something very special. We're going to visit the Great Pyramids of Giza. So let's go for a long walk. We have so much to see and so much to learn. We're going to visit all three of the main pyramids and at the very end we're going to see the legendary Sphinx. Come on, let's go for a long walk on a very, very hot day but we're going to enjoy every moment. Let's do it. Let's start our tour of the magnificent pyramids of Giza here in Egypt by looking at the most famous and magnificent of the pyramids. This is the Pyramid of Cheops or Hufu as it is known in Egyptian. Cheops or Heopas as he was known to the Greeks reigned between 2589 and 25. 66 and this pyramid was built after his death in order to house his remains so the pyramids that you see here at Giza are actual tombs here's a view of the beautiful western side of this magnificent pyramid Magnificent. The Pyramid of Cheops, when it was completed in the 25th century before Christ, it stood at 140 meters of height, which now has been reduced by 3 meters, and that's because the outside casing of the pyramid has been removed over the centuries there used to be another layer of rocks or blocks surrounding this magnificent pyramid very smooth on the outside and unfortunately it all has been removed thus reducing its height by three meters it weighs over six million tons and it has 2,300,000 blocks in its structure. Some of the blocks weigh two and a half tons and some of them weigh over 15 tons. As a matter of fact, the blocks here at the base, if we go a little closer, you will see they are very large blocks and these weigh over 15 tons each. What a magnificent structure, really. I don't care how many times you come to Cairo to see it, but every time you lay your eyes on it, your mouth will drop wide open. Spectacular. Here is a close-up view of the western side of the Pyramid of Cheops. You can see the huge blocks here at the base. And as I mentioned to you, the casing, the outer layer of the pyramid has been removed over the centuries. There used to be another layer, very smooth, running from the tip down to the bottom and all those blocks have disappeared. Magnificent! And uh, by the way, climbing is not allowed on any of the pyramids, including the Pyramid of Cheops. Here's another view of the western side. 
contrary to popular belief that you can pay some people and you can climb up onto the pyramid, that's not true. And this fellow that you see here is a guard and he will make sure that you do not climb even one meter on the pyramid. Hello! So you don't want to get arrested, trust me. Just enjoy walking around and enjoy the magnificent views of this monument. Not only it is very dangerous as you can see, it is very very steep. Let's get very close to it you'll see how steep it is. So even if you decide to climb onto the pyramid and even if the guard does not see you, there's a huge chance that you're gonna get hurt. And uh, here's a view of this magnificent pyramid from the southwestern corner. What a magnificent sight from this angle. Stunning, isn't it? Absolutely stunning. And uh, here's the southern side of the pyramid of Cheops or Hupfu. This is the busiest side by far and that's because you can enter the pyramid. You can see the entrance right there in the middle of the frame. Only a limited number of tickets gets sold every day. And once you enter, you move down or you walk down to the center of the pyramid and uh, 95 meters below the tip of the pyramid you end up at the king's chamber which is a very large chamber that can contain a double-decker bus and there is nothing else in there it's just the experience by the way cameras are not allowed in there so we're not going to do it this time but here's a view of the southern end of this magnificent pyramid here at Giza. Well, let's continue our tour along the complex here at Giza and let's visit the Queen's Pyramids. Three pyramids that are located in front of the pyramid of Cheops or Khufu that you see there in the background. Let's go look at the first one and we know for certain to whom that belonged to. And uh, the first one of the three pyramids, the one that you see here, and this is the one that is in the best of conditions of the three, belonged to Khufu's or Cheops wife who was also his sister. Let's get a little closer so you can get a full view of this beautiful pyramid here. You can see the part of the outer layer of the casing survives. Here's a view of the whole pyramid from this angle here and it looks absolutely beautiful. The third of the Queen's Pyramids, the third in line, belongs to the mother of Kefren or Hafre. As a matter of fact, you can see Kefren's or Hafre's pyramid right there. We're going to visit that next. That's the pyramid of Kefren or Hafre, and this is the pyramid of his mother. Almost destroyed, totally destroyed actually. Well, that's the pyramid of the mother of Hephra. That's the pyramid of Cheops. And this is the middle one of the three of the Queen's pyramids. And there are many theories as to who was buried here. And nobody really is 
quite certain. You can see the bottom layer here as well that the outer casing has survived. And that's a view of this partially saved pyramid. What a beautiful view with the Pyramid of Cheops right behind it. Now I want you to get an idea how vast this archaeological area is here at Giza. Right there in the middle of the frame you see the Pyramid of Kefren or Hephra. We're gonna go there next. In the middle of the frame the Queen's Pyramid. Cheops wife and that's the Pyramid of Cheops right there. There's a vast area here full of pyramids and tombs. Not too many tourists venture this far out here at Giza. But I want to give you an idea what's out here. You can see the outer casing here of another pyramid completely destroyed. Let's walk around and you will see how many pyramids we're going to pass as I'm walking towards the Pyramid of Cheops. And this is something you very rarely see in films and documentaries, this area, that is. You see pyramids all over the place. Look at the ruins here. Let's walk this way. More pyramids to my right and to my left. Here you see the outer layer of the pyramids. Here's another one. Keep in mind now, every pyramid represents a tomb. That's the Pyramid of Cheops there in the distance. Let's keep videotaping. And if you have not been amazed yet, look how far it goes. And look at this here. Look at all the pyramids lined up over here. This is amazing, ladies and gentlemen. When you come to Giza, take your time. Don't just go around the Pyramid of Cheops and say, okay, we've seen it. Walk down here. There's a huge necropolis here. Full of incredible pyramids. Let's go check this one out. We don't even know to whom this pyramid belongs to. Wow, here's the entrance to one of the pyramids. So there are pyramids to my left, to my right, behind me. Incredible, isn't it? You can see that some of the pyramids are older than others. Look at the rocks, the blocks on this one here. Huge. Way, they probably weigh over 20 to 30 tons each. And here, here's the middle one of the three of the Queen's pyramids in front of me. So you get an idea how vast this place is, how incredibly historic it is as well. Here's more pyramids. I lost count. You can see they go all the way down there in that direction too. Amazing. I'm tired and very, very thirsty. And here's a view of the pyramid of Hephra or Kephren as he is known, who by the way was the son of Cheops or Hufru. And if I was to turn around, we'll get a, a view of another side of the pyramid of Cheops with a boat museum on the lower right side as you can see. And even here around the pyramid of Cheops you find many smaller tombs and pyramids as well. And this is how vast this archaeological area is. Who knows what is below the sand here. You 
you can see the remains of several smaller pyramids all over here. What a place, really. Okay, finally we have made it to the second of the three famous pyramids here in Giza after Cheops or Hufru. This is the second most famous. This is the pyramid of Kefren or Hephra as he is known in Egyptian. He was the son of Cheops or Hufru and he reigned from 2558 to 2533 before Christ. This pyramid, as you can see, is almost the same size as the pyramid of Cheops. Every side measures around 230 meters. By the way, when I was describing the Pyramid of Cheops, I think I made a mistake when I said the perimeter was 230 meters. I meant every side of both of these pyramids measures around 230 meters. This one has lost 15 meters on each side because it lost the utmost layer. However, on top of it, right there you can see the last layer of blocks surviving all the way up to the tip unlike the other pyramids so this pyramid is very easily recognizable from this fact that the upper layer survives around the tip so let's go check it out let's go get a couple of views up close come on and uh, once again, that's the wonderful Pyramid of Cheops. Let's now turn around and get a view of the magnificent Pyramid of Kefren. Look at this. Let's get a little closer. This one weighs about 5 million tons. So from a weight perspective, it is smaller than the one of Cheops. What a view. We can even get a little closer, I think. Let's be careful with these blocks here. You can see a layer of blocks. Let's cross them carefully. Ah, right there. Oh, here's the bottom of the pyramid. You cannot get any closer. It looks as if thousands of blocks are ready to fall on top of you. And look at these beautiful views of the area and the city of Giza in the far distance. I was just offered a camel ride for the maybe 150th time today. Magnificent, absolutely magnificent. So if you come to Giza to visit the complex here, walk all the way to this pyramid. A lot of people come with tour guides and just visit the Pyramid of Cheops right there and then they leave. They visit the Pyramid of Cheops and the Sphinx. But this one is an absolutely magnificent structure as well. Imagine that these blocks were placed here 25 centuries before the birth of Christ. 20 centuries before the 
Parthenon in Acropolis in Athens was built. And now we're gonna look at this pyramid from this corner here. And from here you can see how magnificent and stunning it is. Let's be careful walking around because the ground is extremely uneven here. get enough of it but just looking at it you know grab a chair and sit in front of it and try to absorb and remember every block so you don't forget it when you go back home now on this side just like the pyramid of Cheops we have the entrance I don't think it's open now but if you go down there's a chamber with a sarcophagus Carefriend. Here's another view towards the top, right there. I want to show you the side of the pyramid of Kefra that is facing the sun right now. You see, you can see how magnificent it looks. I hope the camera can capture all the details of this magnificent pyramid. And if I turn around, down there in the far distance, about 600 meters away, and a very difficult crossing from here is the last of the three. That's the pyramid of Mykerinus. So we have a very long walk to go to get there at 38 degrees Celsius, almost around 96 degrees Fahrenheit in the desert. Wow, we've got plenty of water and that's very important. Let's get down there for a quick glimpse of that very beautiful pyramid. And uh, finally, here's a view of the pyramid of Mykerinus, as he was known to the Greeks, or Menkara in Egyptian. The smallest of the three pyramids, it was built by the successor of Kephren, Mykerinus. So this must have been built after Kephren died in, in 2533 before Christ. It is an absolutely magnificent structure and it has gone through several demolitions. You can see many blocks of red Aswan granite all over the place. At one point in time they tried to demolish it and they failed. It is also called the Red Pyramid and that's because it was built out of red Aswan granite blocks. And it looks absolutely stunning from here, doesn't it? And uh, here's a view of the Pyramid of Mykerinus or Menkara. Here's the frontal view and this is where the entrance is right there. Now apparently there used to be a sarcophagus here and it was removed by the British at the end of the 19th century and on its way to London the ship sunk and the sarcophagus has been lost forever. Here is a view of this magnificent pyramid and once again the smallest of the three here in Giza. And if you want to get an idea what it looked like before the demolition, let's go a little closer and view the red granite blocks that used to make up the outer layer of the pyramid. Right there, beautiful. 
well I have a feeling it will be quite a few years before I come back again so here's my last view of the pyramid of Mykerinus let's turn around here's a view of the pyramid of Kefren and let's go take that road and walk around the pyramid of Kefren towards the pyramid of Cheops and let's go down to the Sphinx. You thought I had forgotten the Sphinx. Well, I haven't. I left the best for last. Let's go. And uh, here's a view of the legendary Sphinx. Finally, we've made it down here. In the background you see the pyramid of Cheops, which is the most famous pyramid in Egypt and in Giza. And the Sphinx, of course, is the most famous structure. Here's a beautiful view of the Sphinx. And in the far distance, the pyramid of Kefren that we saw a few minutes ago. Stunning. And uh, here is a magnificent view from the rear of the Sphinx, which is over 2,600 years old, made out of the soft limestone in this area here in Giza. It has undergone several attempts fix it you can see the bricks and the blocks of stone here and each attempt really failed but here's a beautiful view from the rear of this magnificent structure the beard and the nose are missing because the Napoleonic groups around 1798 were using this unfortunate structure for target practicing The beard, by the way, you can find in the British Museum in London. And the surrounding area, in the far distance, you see the Pyramid of Cheops and Kefren. By the way, the head allegedly resembles the image of Kefren. Here's a very last view. Magnificent and stunning. Now let's look at this magnificent structure for a few more seconds. As I said, it is over 2,600 years old and it has the head of a man and the body of a lion. Those are the paws that you see there of the lion. Here is the body. You can see the legs and the tail. And it's a mystery why it was built. It has been placed as a hypothesis that this was built by Kefren, but nobody really knows. It is such a magnetic, fascinating structure. You can see people coming here and posing for photographs. And once you see it, just like the Pyramid of Cheops, you will never forget the sight and the views. It shines in the sunshine. It looks beautiful with the Pyramid of Cheops behind it. Absolutely stunning, beautiful, unforgettable and spectacular. And uh, here's the very last view but I want to show you the profile that allegedly resembles Kefren, the son of Cheops. Nobody has really been able to verify that. And before 1798, you would have seen a beard attached to the chin. 
which is not here now. As I said, you can find the beard in the museum, the British Museum in London. Here's a very nice view of this magnificent structure and the two pyramids in the background right there. Wow, what a sight and what an incredible experience it has been to walk around, to view and to record and to videotape those pyramids and the legendary Sphinx for you. It took about five hours to videotape everything that you saw and I had to walk through the desert as you saw for quite a few kilometers, but I enjoyed every moment. This is Vic, thank you for viewing my videos and if you like what you saw, please subscribe to my channel. All the way from Cairo, this was the Pyramids of Giza and the Sphinx. Bye bye.